Well, let's feast your eyes on this classic LTD 1000. Thing's gnarly. bird right there. a 1980 Kawasaki 1000 LTD that I meticulously gone went through over the past two weeks and we did everything on this bike when we got it in um, it kind of needed a full once over I went ahead and uh, pulled the valve cover off adjusted the valves on it brand new valve cover gaskets went through the perfectly uh, the bike is tuned to perfection micro drilled the pilot jets uh, we went through the brakes completely on the bike as well. The front calipers have both been rebuilt with new seals on them. The master cylinder has been rebuilt completely. Uh, along with the rear brakes, the rear master cylinder was completely gone through, all new seals, and the rear caliper was rebuilt as well. It has a brand new 630 chain on it. Um, meticulously cleaned everything in the air box. The air box is all, um, all new seals where we could. and. Um, brand new air filter in it, brand new petcock on the bike as well. I mean, everything that could be gone through on this bike and is a wearable item, we went through and replaced it. So this is really the cream of the crop in terms of 1,000 LTDs. Without a gas. Feast your eyes on this classic Kawasaki LTD 1000. This bike has the original factory paint job, seat, all the original cycle parts. The only items that have been changed were the original exhaust and tires. Other than that, it's just the way it rolled out of the factory, what, 43 years ago? So a few things I didn't mention is we actually put all new fuel lines in this bike. It has a brand new battery as well. Um, new spark plugs, uh, we put all four new plugs in it as well. In addition to that other stuff, we put brand new throttle cables on it. The originals were okay, but we wanted to make sure that it was perfect and the throttle moved up and down flawlessly. So we put new cables on it. Um, the clutch cable was lube and ex uh, inspected and that moves very smoothly as well. Uh, there was no frays in the cable. The cable looks practically brand new. Um, on the carburetors, we went ahead and adjusted the fuel screws and made sure that it, the bike idles and comes off of idle perfect. And we also filled the tank up with VP94 gas tank fresh mold tool oil in the cases and it came out phenomenally as you can see on video. Did you cover the detailing end of it? No, no. The bike went through the detail shop. We gave it what we call a rotisserie detailing. We have a, a diesel fired steam cleaner, hot water washer. We thoroughly cleaned the bike top to bottom, polished all the aluminum, all the chrome, all the painted surfaces, paying special attention to not messing up or painting any of the stock original finishes on the tank side panel rear fenders because there's not too many survivors with original paint out there with low miles like this so the originality to me is key um, if you are familiar with the kawasaki brand you know that this is one of the first classics uh, or customs that kawasaki had come out with the ltd the mags were uh, a, re a replica of the lester mag and the exhaust system on it was actually a jardine exhaust 
an aftermarket exhaust right from the factory, which is something they hadn't done before. It also came with the, the, these um, pullback handlebars, the chrome headlight bucket, and the fuel tank has more of a teardrop custom look than the one on the regular KZ1000. It also has a stepped saddle, kind of like a, a custom saddle, and this large chrome loop on the back. Um, the shocks were also made by, I think, it's, I think they're Coney. So they're by Coney shocks that are on there. This one here has been given an upgrade with a Kirker 4 into one exhaust. As Justin had mentioned, the carbs were tuned for the exhaust system. It has a set of Dunlop Qualifier GT raised white letter tires, which look awfully nice rolling down the road. So uh, the original fuel tank is remarkably, th this side of the tank is, is uh, in remarkably good condition. Um, there's no patina or, or, or damage anywhere on the stripe that I can see, and the tank is perfectly straight. Coming around this side here, there is a, a little blemish on the factory decal. Now, we can order these decals from Z1 Enterprises and put it right over the top of this one, and that would disappear, and that paint could be touched up. But we wanted to leave it original. It's a $60 decal, not a big deal. They make a kit, uh, I think it's like 120 or something like that for the whole kit, the side decals and the rears. I thought the originality um, is key, but if you want to put new decals on it, you could. If you wanted to replace the exhaust, you could. You could do whatever you want to do, but um, the bike is, the core bike is all original, and it's an excellent original survivor that's just been tuned. The um, chain guide is, is unique to this model, too, as are all the other features I mentioned. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Absolutely an investment quality classic. The early Z1s have gone through the roof. One just sold for 50. I thought we sold, we auctioned one off a 73, 4, and 5 lap, uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. They're all on our YouTube channel. And the, the um, 73 sold for 27.5, and the other two sold for 26. 25000 if I remember correctly. I thought that was a lot of money. Well, one of these just sold the 73 Z1 sold at Mecham for 52.5 recently, which is, you know, where, where's it going to end? They're becoming like muscle cars. So the LTD 1000 1980 model is going up also. We auctioned off one of these last year. And I'd have to ask Junior, but I think it was 16.5 or 17.5 that sold for similar miles, similar condition. Um, they're becoming very rare. I can tell you this. Uh, we... We auctioned off a engine cases, frame, and some other components like a basket of parts basically for a 73Z1. It had a tank, tailpiece, no wheels, no forks, just the engine cases, some engine parts, the frame, and the tins, and it sold for five grand a few months ago. So it's, it's crazy what, what the market's doing on, on these, these classics, and they're not, they're not gonna get any less expensive. So. If you get an opportunity to buy this one at a fair price, it's going to be auctioned off with a reasonable reserve. Buy it because they're, they're, they're going up in value. And to find one with 16,000 miles that's all original like this is, is uh, unheard of. So, well, rare, rarely seen. Most of them have got 30, 40, 50,000 miles. To find one under under 17,000 is, is, is a fine. So if you have any questions, call us. We offer financing, and we will handle the shipping for you if you'd like. Or you can come here to the museum and pick it up. Um, our phone number is 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.